Hey y'all, it's me, Macy Lynn. I hope you're having a great Friday and a good morning. Um, it's still pretty early here, about 7.20. Um, not, not too early, not as early as I should have been starting anyway, but here we go. This is Floss Tube 27 and it's June 12th. June is flying by like crazy town. And I am just shocked at our numbers rising here again in Dallas. So, um, I hope y'all pay some kind of heed and try to be a little bit careful when y'all go out. Um, Carla, and I'm gonna jump right in and try to get going uh, before the littles get here and I'm messing up in their time. Y'all know my whole life is their time, so I need to get my business straight. Carla had asked about casting a spell, and here is the pattern I have. They have re-released it uh, since this is the original one and I've, they re-released it, I know I think they look exactly the same and I don't know that there's any difference in them. But inside here, it tells you the finishing instructions talk about getting this box here. And it comes from Hobby Lobby. It gives you the item number on here. And I'm gonna stand up and zoom. And hopefully it'll come in for y'all. But this is what it looks like when you buy it. It's unfinished little box. This one I have been saying I want to do um, it in other colorways. And box instructions. It is Hobby Lobby box number 648196 is the SKU number for this box that goes with the Blackbirds casting the spell. I have been saying I want to do it a different color way. You easily could. It doesn't have a ton of colors in it. I don't think you would have to switch up anything. Quite frankly, you might, um, you might leave the little pumpkin off here, but you could easily just make another little star and you could do these in red, white, and blue. You could do these in greens and reds, because all total it has, I think, one, two, three, four, five, about five colors in the whole book. Yeah, I think it's five colors throughout the whole book. So you could pick five colors in here. There's, they've got a black orange, I think a lighter orange, a brown, and a gold. So you could easily swap these colors out. It would not look, to me, it wouldn't look Halloween-y at all if you didn't want to change anything on the pattern, but just the colorways of it, it would work. I think I'm going to uh, try to switch mine out for some different things and some of the different ones just to see if it'll work. But I, I love that box. And if you will look up Patricia Geary, and I'm gonna try to put the link she sent me to, um, to something else, but she runs uh, Fans of Blackbird Designs and the Blackbird Designs Linden Library. That's where I've been able to stitch some of the charts over the years before Easter Basket and uh, the Little Bunny were released again, I was able to borrow from there. You do have to be a part of the fans group for a while and be active before you can borrow because these charts are hers and other people's that they are kind enough to loan because they are not for sale. You can't find them anywhere. So, except for crazy prices on eBay and those don't go to the designer. So, you know, whatever. <clears throat> that doesn't seem to be very helpful. So there's a group that loan the ones that are out of print and um, it's a great group and she is so sweet to handle all that and keep track of all that. When I contacted her um, yesterday about, she when she did her box like this, she put trim, just little like woodworking trim around the top. After she painted it, then she glued it on and it's gorgeous. And I'm gonna do this one like that. I'm gonna do it a little bit fancier. And I'm thinking I may do it in a light, kind of a medium blue and then wax it and distress it some. And then I will use it for my spring and my patriotic summer box is what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. So um, Carla, I hope that helps some. Uh, looking at the non-finished one. If you want to see the other one, holler and I'll get it out another time. Um, but I thought it might be easier to see like that. Uh, Mella says she loves my health and peace sampler. 
I do too. That thing, uh, Gloria Moore knocked it out of the park on that one. It's by my lady's needle. And um, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let me see here. I will get it. It's in my Karen bag right here. I'll hold the picture up over. I won't show my progress on it, but that's this one. And it got me thinking about a good starter sampler. And so I'm looking into a couple of those. Maybe we can sell a start, some kind of a little sampler or something, a starter sampler, and get going on that. Um, because I'm just about to turn the halfway on this here and get, um, get myself going. So that one is beautiful. And so I'm looking for a good starter sampler that's not crazy too much or maybe has a couple of different things in it. Uh, Carolyn was laughing about, my, we were talking about my, my triangle pillow. I love it. It's a lap stand pillow is what it's called. Uh, mine says pillow pad. It's like some kind of a name brand. I know Target, Walgreens had them for like 20 bucks. I found that one on clearance at my Walmart up by the checkout. It was by that, where they have all that stuff you see on TV. It was on that part and it was like $9. But I've also found some that may not be the exact exact one. And I've never bought anything off Wish, but I hear people talk about it all the time and they do unboxings and stuff for like seven to $10. So that might be worth a gamble if you wanna try one of those because I just prop my pattern right on that thing and either set it on my lap or set it on the table and it holds it fine. And uh, Nicole had mentioned for keeping your place on a pattern and on your fabric, she uses a van the vanishing pin we talked about last time. She says it's called a dressmaker's pin and she loves hers. I didn't even know they had a real name. Of course, I didn't even know there were things. I, I knew there was some you had to wash out, but I didn't know there was any that would just go away on its own. So um, that's kind of like the Magic Harry Potter pen on there. Uh, Kelly's, um, okay, when we were saying uncle, uncle was the thing this week, and the, so y'all sent me the funniest thing. Kelly wins because she said her uncle would ride his pig down to, down to grandma's house to see her. That's the best thing ever, and I hope your uncle did have a pig he rode because that makes me happy. Uh, some of my family members have had had pet pigs. Even Jane Fleming's grandma had one. Um, Granny Vic had one when she was a kid, but I don't know. I don't guess she wrote it. I don't think Granny Vic was that kind of person. She was kind of, um, well, I ain't never seen her in pants. So I guess she didn't ride no kind of animal because she didn't ever have on britches. She always had a skirt on. And I'm pretty sure there's no side saddle for a pig. So, hmm. Um, Wendy had, we had talked about, oh Lord of mercy, CJ's bike brick. And we had touched on it a little bit last time. CJ, when he wrecked his bike, he went to jump over a little cord, uh, one of those metal cords that goes around the edge of like a parking lot and hit it and flew, just flew. And he was just riding, you know, around the street and back then, and I'm one of those free range parents, okay? I don't, I don't, I'm not like super cautious of my kids. And back then, very few people wore helmets. It was kind of a, he had to wear one on the motorcycles they wore them, but not on the bicycle, which they told us it was a good thing he didn't have one on because it probably broke his neck the way he landed. But he flipped like this and landed on his face with his feet up in the air. And they said if he had had a helmet on, that would have been enough of a sharp cut right there that it probably would have broke his neck. So, but anyway, he wrecks. And he's just down the road from our house. We lived on the same street as the schoolhouse was right down at the end and the street dead ended into the school. And that's where he hit the thing. School was out, you know, it was afternoon. And he jumps up and starts running. He's wrecked the bike. He jumps up and starts running because he's hurt. And I told y'all before about my sweet neighbor, Carolyn Upchurch, that lived in the Blue House. There could not be a kinder person on this planet than Carolyn Upchurch. She works with kids, she works at the school. Well, she sees all this going down and she's mowing. She stops mowing and she starts running to try to intercept him. He's coming down the road this way and she's running out from her house to try to stop him. She knows him, he knows her, but he's in a panic. All he knows, he's got to get home. So he's running and she thinks she's gonna intercept him. He just jukes right over and runs around her. Well, then he's running down the street. Carolyn's running down the street. He's screaming bloody murder. She's screaming, CJ, CJ, stop, man. And he just keeps on going until he gets all the way to the house. I mean, just, uh, Carolyn said he was like grease lightning going down the street. She gets there and after he does, James looks at it, lays him down. Of course, we didn't have cell phones. There was no cell phones back then. So James lays him down flat and calls my work. Guess I've left. 
Well, I was picking up pizza and movies at the library because it was our Friday, Friday date night, you know, our big family date night. So he's waiting on me. I get there and he has not, the other two kids are still sitting there. Now my, my stepmom lived right behind us, and he, but she wasn't home. But our neighbors on any side, we had the best neighbors in Mayfield, Texas of any, they're fabulous. That whole town, I love it in pieces. That's where my daddy's people are from and it's fabulous. But I had to go over and tell Miss Melanie what had happened. She'd been in her house and the way her house was turned, she hadn't seen it. And give her the other two kids to stay uh, so Keely and Micah could stay with her and Alvin until Daddy and Annie got home. We loaded him up. I called the um, doctors off the house. And I said, hey, I'm headed your way, uh, but CJ's face is ripped off and you're gonna have to, I'm sure, refer it. And of course the doctor said, oh, you know, I'm sure I'll be able to handle it. And I said, okay. Well, yeah, no. I got there, he walked out to the truck and he said, I'm calling children's, you just gone. So we start driving and that's when James Williams don't drive fast. And I get there and he needs to go to the bathroom. And I did not, didn't think about it. I go in the bathroom with him, you know, cause I mean, he is shook up and hurt. And so I go in there with him. He turns around to wash his hands and sees his face and goes to screaming. I look like a monster. He's screaming panicking cause he is prone to panic. When he was little, he was my boy. He was my panic kid. And he's losing. I'm like, baby, it's fine. They're going to fix it. They're going to fix it. And look at my reading shirt. He had his star reader shirt on. And it had blood all over it. Looked like he had slaughtered animals. It was awful. Well, get him calmed down. Get him back out there. You know, they get him all sewed up and everything. Well, then it's uh, coming up on the Memorial Day weekend. The one, is that Memorial Day, Labor Day? Memorial Day that we just had. It's the one in May, whichever. I always get those confused. I know what they're for and I don't get that confused, but I get which one is which confused. Anyway, rabbit, squirrel, huh. He, um, we get home and the doctor tells me, look, my office is closed, but I'm gonna need to redress this. So you're gonna have to, I want you to pile, just pile. He gave me all these little packets of Neosporin on there. Just pile it on, just goop it on, don't touch it. But then before you come in for me to take these stitches out and bandage it up on the Monday, I'm gonna have, you're gonna have to scrub all that off. All that Neosporin is gonna have to be scrubbed off there. I'm not telling you it's gonna be pleasant, I'm telling you it has to happen because it needs to be scrubbed off and dried out before he gets to my office. I can take the stitches out and then I'll butterfly him up if everything's looking like I want it to. Y'all, I couldn't. I couldn't, I called Annie, my stepmom, I'm crying. She said, bring him over here. And she got, stood in the shower with him and scrubbed that off his face. She's crying too. I'm sitting out there bawling and she's just got um, a little rag. And he said, you know, use like a, a new rag or cotton balls. And cause he said, but you gotta be careful with the cotton balls cause you can't catch that. It'll rip. So it'll be really better if you use like a smooth, like a t-shirt or something, you know, if you'll cut up a t-shirt that's clean. And she did it. I don't know that, y'all, I don't know that I could have done it. I don't know that I could have done it. Bless her heart. Man, she saved me on that one many times, but on that one time for sure. And then we had to keep him out of the sun all summer because he said no sun on it. So he had to wear a hat everywhere we went and not go outside all summer. So of course that just, he fed his video game obsession and his reading obsession. So that was fine. So I told y'all this was, I'm gonna ramble on this morning, sorry. Um, whew. But anyway, that's CJ's bike wreck week, but you cannot find it on his face. At all. I mean, if you get really close, you can see here and here the scratch marks. But he's it broke loose right here, and he stitched it up right there, and he did a great job, great great job. Um, let's see. Heidi uh, said, "Order Joann's online. If your Joann's is empty, and I'm gonna try to see if I can find fabric like that way online, and see if I can find some more." Um, here again, if any of y'all work at quilt places that know of American-made fabric that doesn't have to ship or that's around readily, um, holler and I'll holler them out like I did the cross-stitch shops that are open or if y'all's cross-stitch shops have some fabrics in right now, um, holler. I know Fat Quarter Shop has, um, you know, they have a good selection of fabric, but they're the same way, you know, they're saying we, you know, that we're running behind and we don't have everything we normally do. So be patient with your fabric places. Vicki said Google baby size buttons to finish up Uncle Sam here. Well, there's a squirrel for you. 
Google that, baby size buttons. You'll see the cutest things you've ever seen in your life. Of course, anything baby size is always so cute, but holy moly, baby size buttons, there could take you a week looking at those adorable things. Um, Susie mentioned that lots of fabrics come from China and that's why we are so behind getting them. There's a lot of the fabricating and stuff is done there and then shipped here. And of course they were shut down before we were. And so now they're trying to get open back up and play catch up. Um, Liza said that everything crossstitch.com had the ocean ABCs. I don't know if it still does or not. I hope if any of y'all see it anywhere, holler. There's a couple looking for that ocean ABCs kit and are wanting it. So if any of y'all see it anywhere, holler and we will um, get it passed on to the people who really want it. Um, oh, Susie, uh, Susan also said that the fabric comes from China. And so that's what it made me think, is there any American made fabrics on there? Uh, 1952 Trouble tries to keep me in line and she said, be careful showing things because you were showing your address everywhere. And I'm like, I never even thought about it. 1952 Trouble always keep helping me out because I'm always doing things and not thinking. So. Um, thank you so much. Rebecca uh, says one, two, three stitches has the buttons. Uh, Georgette messaged me and said she had the button pack and she was never going to stitch it. So, um, she would like to send them to me, which y'all are so nice. Y'all are sweetest things. So, um, she said she was going to had had those. She wasn't going to stitch it. So thank you so much, Georgette. Um, J uh, Jamie, we looked at casting the spell box and Carla, we talked about casting the spell box already. Um, and Elizabeth says that if you go to Jabco, um, and I think another one of you, Sandy and Edie said Jabco online has a website. You can go and see all the buttons they've ever made. Um, yeah, so there's another rabbit hole if you're trying to kill some time sitting in the doctor's office or something. Wow. Peggy has a metal Lori Holt stand with needle minders, and it has a little magnet strip on it. So if you're looking for something to hold your place, look at Lori Holt's site. She has that on there. Uh, Jennifer... Oh, Jennifer, my writing is so bad. Not. Oh, Jennifer, okay, Jennifer, my handwriting. Um, Wendy has a email and I will put it in my, I, I, I'm trying to, I got some things in my description last week. I will put some more in there this week. I'm getting, I figured that out a little bit and I'm getting better at it. She has an email, so if you want to see some of Wendy's bags and you're not on Facebook, and a lot of people don't social media, I hadn't thought about it, I don't know why, but it's true, I have tons of friends that don't social media. So I will put her email down there, and she says if you'll shoot her email, she will um, let us um, know uh, how to get a hold of her, and she'll you know email you back. And Lori... And I, thought, I guess, I hope she's right, because she says if we all fall down the rabbit hole together, it's party. Party on this morning. Boy, we're garthing it, waning garthing it up today. Um, Catherine, and she's K-A-T-H-R-Y-N-A-S-P on Instagram. She has stitched a Uncle Sam and Lady Liberty, and it's a Brooks Books freebie. And it is so dang cute. So y'all jump over there and see that thing if you um, need a pattern. And like I said, I know money is an issue right now. A lot of people not working and things, um, but it's an adorable freebie, which is so sweet of the designers to do that and show. And Rinda's poor husband, she was in labor forever and her husband kept thinking she wasn't in labor and wouldn't drive fast and wouldn't do this. Boy, I don't know. I would have, I don't know what I'd have done with him, but Lord have mercy. Poor Rinda. Mm. Um, Diane is just getting back in stitching and she needed some fabric. Um, uh, you can go, you know, call your LNS, call. Um, I know the Stitch Niche carries a good big kit in our, here in Arlington. Uh, Shelly, Just Stitch and Ink uh, in Strongville, Ohio, she keeps a good, good fabric selection. You can go to uh, Down Sunshine Lane. She's super sweet, such a nice lady, and you can get fabric from her. What I wanted to say is you don't have to have the fabric they call for. You can just adjust the size a little bit. It's not a big deal. And so if you're just getting back in and because I know around here, you can't get like my Joann's here only carries Ada. So if you don't want Ada, if you're wanting to try even weave or, or linen for the first time, mine does not have any at all. I don't know why. The Michaels that's close to me carries a little bit sometimes, but not a ton. And then um, it's, 
uh, a lot of times it's just, you don't know if you're gonna wanna stitch on it because it's all folded up in a thing like that. Hobby Lobby has some sometimes. Um, I haven't been back in there since all this started, but you can talk to those people and they will send you some, a one, two, three stitch. I know you can order even little pieces from them and, and get it and somebody, was it you stitch me? No, last week somebody, and I'll try to find it, had made little packs, little starter packs and sampler packs. So think about that um, and just changing your pattern up. You know, don't wait, you don't have to wait on the exact fabric. I never use the right fabric except for their song is the only thing I think I've probably ever worked on. Their song and my witchy tea time are the only thing I've probably ever worked that was on the call for fabric because I never have it. And it takes me 40 minutes to get to my LNS and that's not very L for me. I'm not a driver, so. Uh, Canona asked about using the sulky threads and I use my sulkies one over two. And these are on 28 count here's, I should put this behind here, I guess, like this. This is 28 count Monaco and here it is one over two on here. Now, uh-oh, hang on, pause please. I'm gonna grab one of these little stockings because they are uh, 30 count. I should have grabbed it a minute ago. Oh, one of the girls' little dolphins I made. Here is one over two on 30. And it, you can tell, I mean, it's a crazy difference in the coverage. Let me see if I can put them side by side here. See, there is a big, big difference just between the 30 and the 28. I like this kind of more, uh, kind of a primitive look. It's fine with me. I know lots of people don't, they want a full coverage, but this is one over two on 28. This is one over two on 30. I love the silky threads. This is, this is the letters are silky, the silky rainbow, one over two on 28 count that I had dyed. And it's really loose when I was blocking it. I pulled it a little too hard huh? when I colored it. So you can see the weave on it is pretty open there. But I love the coverage of it. I love using it. It uh, stitches up nicely, super nice. So um, I hope that helps uh, Canona. Um, if not, holler and let me know what you want, um, what exactly, what if I didn't cover it. Before I forget, PDF, I think I forgot last week. Uh, there is uh, one I found, KEB Studio Creations. That's her name on Etsy and on Instagram, KEB Studio Creations. If you're looking for some PDF downloads, she has some really cute stuff. Uh, she has a lot of needle binders and all kind of fun things on there. But there is a plaid autumn series. And there's a plaid series and it's a little autumn things with this plaid. And I know a lot of y'all love plaid and I do, I love plaid. It's so cute, I've never stitched a lot of it, but it's adorable. And then she has a little summer uh, because the Ocean ABCs was such a hit. She has a little, it's on a towel, but you could easily put it around a drum and it has little seashells and then the word summer and all these adorable little seashells on either end. You could wrap it, use that as the siding around a drum if you wanted to try a drum for the first time and make a little short drum and that might be a fun uh, way to use that. She has it on the towel and it's beautiful, but when I saw it, um, we're too hard on towels around here. I can't be having no, I used to stitch them when the kids were little, but around here we're hard on towels. So I'm not gonna be fancying up some towels around here for them to murder because that's exactly what happens. They get murdered. Now, before I forget too, I want to say that I did get, um, Amy, your card's coming. And look at this card Anne sent me. And I'm writing you back a nice long letter because I, isn't this beautiful? She's the sweetest thing. And uh, I love getting emails and messages from her. And then she makes the most beautiful things. And then when she's writing in here, I didn't know she's famous. Dang, Anne. So I ordered her three books, Anne. It's um, Ann Seeley and they made quilts. She and her sister made quilts and traveled around and did quilt workshops. And the covers on those books are gorgeous. And here I am sweating my first jelly roll thing I'm wanting to try. And Ann's things are so gorgeous. So that was a highlight this week. So I'm writing you back a nice real long letter. And then the other thing that I spent some time on before, so I didn't get as much stitching done is I made some more masks. This, these are for CJ and Wani, and they have the nose piece, and it has a filter pocket right here, there. 
And then I don't like the rubber bands pulling on my ears and they'll both wear their glasses on the plane for sure anyway. So this is just a thin little like paracordy thing. So it won't be a bunch of bulk behind their ears. CJ's I made a little looser down here. I didn't flap it out in quite as tight because he has that beard. One of these is, t is tighter in and just looks smaller all the way around. And I'm not sure why, because this is, this is my problem with sewing y'all. Here I have, I use the same pattern, but of course this one is super starched. This fabric is out of one of James's old shirts. So it's all starched up a million times and that's probably why it's laying so flat. But this one is softer, but um, it'll be for one of you because they're going to see her family uh, in Florida. So they leave today and she's dropping me off uh, Luther, the grand dog baby. So I'll be having Luther this weekend. So that'll be super fun. Uh, he's a little black pug and um, he's just the cutest thing thing. So um, I'll be having the grandbaby dog this weekend cause he's so sweet. Hall, I probably buried here. Lord have mercy y'all. I did get my Just Cross Stitch magazine. It was my only haul this week that I wanted to show y'all. And I didn't, oh, Lord have mercy, buried it so deep you can't find it. I try to be organized, huh? that's the problem. I got my Just Cross Stitch magazine in. And sometimes there's lots of things in here. And for me, it's just, I think because they try to cover such a wide range of people stitching that it's, um, sometimes it's, you know, it's hard to say, no, would I stitch the whole thing? No, but, I, but that's not the point. But this, I need something where, Oh, I switched it out. I have my little tiny lecole up there. Uh, Lordy mercy, right there, right there. There's my little lecole. Look at this, and it's uh, Ursula Michaels, I think, with all the patriotic words. That stitch up super quick, and I know a lot of y'all don't like the back stitch. I don't mind the back stitch. I'm a, I'm a girl from the 80s. Everything had the back stitch in it everything not some things everything but then this guy here is also so so cute and it's by cherry hill stitchery well, look at that that's so so cute so there's those two in there that i will um i need more stitching time in my life and then there is this one on tw on eight and 28 here eight is this little mermaid that is so, so cute. And I think it's by Nikki's Creations. Look at that guy. So, so cute. And then there was one more that I thought I might try to get in, which probably will not happen because I don't have enough stitching on. This one is by Saving Grace's Fine Needle Arts. It's so, so cute. So there's a lot of cute things in here this time. And I was, um, I want to show y'all that. So if you see it on the newsstand, that's my only haul this week. So here we go with whips. Um, I done told y'all my main helping piece was in my Karen bag here that I, and I tell y'all when I, I think about all y'all whenever I use them, pick it up. This is where my helping piece is now. And I don't know if I can get much closer and get everything in the frame. I finished this design out here this week and I think I did a little more here. And it is such a, Pretty, pretty sampler. I love it, love it, love it. And like I said, if any of y'all have any of these in your shop, holler, there are several people looking at them, um, wanting it to stitch it because it is so, so, so pretty. Uh, the colors in it, and this is just a DMC. They also offered it in um, a silks conversion, and I never used silks, so I was afraid to kind of try it and go there the first time I'll do something small the first time I just stitched like two or three I think I did my initial or something in silks one time for something but that's all I've done with it so um and Melissa dot dot goose bag here I have their song and I got to work on it some this week and I'm so excited because look y'all <gasps> I'm down to the motifs so that's all the words except for the two words, their song, which is at the very, very bottom. So I've got all that done. So now I'm down to this bottom half here. So I'm so excited. 
and it is beautiful. It's on April Brown. Ben D, this is one of the two things I've ever stitched on, I think, what it called for. And um, I didn't have the exact colors, so I just switched them out. On here, I'm using, let's see, I'll tell y'all what I've got on here. 310, uh, Weak Style Works Louisiana Hot Sauce, Weak Style Works Molasses, Weak Style Works Olive, Weak Style Works Moss, and Weak Style Works Terracotta is what I have on here. And that's, it doesn't use a lot of colors, but I don't know if the light's picking the colors up. That uh, Louisiana hot sauce has beautiful, beautiful uh, variegation in it. And then um, the terracotta is the orangey looking that some of the letters are. But I am just loving these guys. Y'all know I love my birds back here. I've had all kinds of, we've been having so much fun this week. I've had purple finches, house finches. I've had a red-headed woodpecker out there this week. Um, all kind of little sparrows. And one of them has a little deformed foot. So I know him when I see him a lot. Um, his little foot's crippled up. But um, so I always know it's him when I see him out there. I have a lot of dove and uh, the female buntings. I've had the green female buntings or the painted buntings out a lot. And I see her a lot. I've only seen the male once, but they're super elusive. So I've been super happy to see her even. So that's made me over the moon happy to see all that. Who else have we seen? We watch them all the time. Oh, mockingbirds. I have tons of mockingbirds. My neighbors probably hate me for keeping on feeding them. And here is Tis the Season. Woohoo! I'm finally, let me see if I can move my stool over and get here. Um, everything's done except my alphabet across the bottom. And it, it goes the same line as this. So when y'all said, do you have enough room? And I don't ever leave myself a lot of room, but I did get off here. I should have been a little bit more that way, you know. But it's all right. That's okay. And I'll just put my alphabet there across the bottom. And then to do my initials, I'll change my D, L, and W a different color because they've already got you put the year down here. But this is Patricia Geary's uh, colorway, and she got it. And y'all know I'm not good with technology. So she sent me the link, and I should be able to find out whose name it says. But it says Blogtoberfest, and I know that's not their name probably, but it's their colorway, and I'll try to link it in in the description to where they talk about get it patricia's blog post then links to that ladies who did this but i am just loving this this is on um gray rip tea dyed even weave and it's like just the cheap one that i had in my like you get it hobby lobby or somewhere like that and it looks kind of like fiddler's cloth it's got a little flex in it and those picked up the dye a little darker. So I was super, super happy with how that turned out. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave this thing up all the time. I'm putting my things across the bottoms. And like I said, if you didn't want this to be particularly Christmassy, which I wish I had thought about, you could do these stars like quilt stars. So you could have done them in the green and the red. You could have done it in uh, the, the berry colors and the red or in the green and the gold or something and changed, any, changed it up completely and then it would not have looked wintery even. Because these to me look like quilt motifs. And y'all see that area right there? I ain't changing it. I know I've told y'all I can let it go and I sure can. So I am love, love, loving this piece. I'm gonna be sad uh, to see it finished, but I'm gonna be happy, happy to hang it. I just love working on it. It's a good, the fabric feels good in my hand when I work on it and I don't have to have a hoop or anything. And it makes me crazy, crazy happy. Um, one of y'all asked about the backs and I will flip this guy over. I don't, I think my back stays somewhat neat because I stitch in hand. So you, your fingers right there and you feel it if there's a little bubble or anything. I don't know, or, or I don't, I also don't stitch with a super long thread. Maybe that's why, I don't know. But I never do really think much about it, but that's the back side. And I don't know, like I said, that's all I know is I don't use a super long thread and I stitch in hand. So maybe that's what's going on. I don't know. But that's my backside of my Tiss the Season. And he, yeah, they do stay pretty neat, but I'm not sure why, except that I do use a short thread. I don't use, let me see here. And this is the colorway I've got for it. 
don't know if you can tell the, well, here's the big one on the back here. And this is my patient's bag here. See, he looked kind of, I don't know, real panky to me. And I didn't, I wanted mine to be red, 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 red. And so I went to Patricia's um, and got the colors. Tur there's Turkish red. I finished up, what is that one? Oh, that's, a, I had to have two. So if you're a crazy superstitious like me, I needed two. I didn't, I couldn't quite finish with one. Uh, I've got Palomino. I've got Bark. And I've got Whitewash are the ones I've got for Weak Style Works. And then I've got Peapod. I should turn this this way. Peapod, what is that? Forest Glade. Grecian Gold. And Brandy. And wild berries is what the color of the berries are, that pretty, and it's like gorgeous variegation in that pink color. So that's the colors I use, and I got it from Patricia, who got it from the lady at Blogtoberfest, and I can't find out. I'm gonna keep looking today. Well, my daughter will get here, and she can tell me. She'll say, Mom, it says right here. And I'm gonna use the alphabet out of Sweet Land of Liberty off of Abigail Adams right here. And that's the one I'm gonna put across the bottom. And um, I think I'm gonna do green and gold, or green and pink, one or the other, and put my initials in the pink or in the gold, I'm not sure which one, but. So there'll be a finish on that this week. Now we're gonna to come to the drawn thread. I love my welcome. Y'all see my spring's still up there because I haven't changed over from my spring piece, so yay, yay, yay. But I got a confession to make. I started stitching on this, and I'm gonna roll this back right here. And y'all know I love the blue. I just couldn't stop stitching on that, um, what is it, wavy navy? And I love, love, loved it. Well, it got put in the timeout because I was stitching away like a crazy person and James Williams started a Vin Diesel movie. Y'all know I love Vin Diesel. I love him so much. He's so handsome. He has a great voice. I love me some Ben Diesel. And this, the, the drawn thread also is used in silks. And so I just had to do a floss toss and pick my own colors. So when it says Matilda on the thing, I'm like, you know, well, I am started right down here and was starting in the little bird and in this. But what I did was watching Vin Diesel and not paying no attention. These, I have pulled them all out now. There was red over here and red over here. I stitched all these red, because I guess I was thinking geraniums. Those was the leaves, y'all. So I've got part of, most all of it ripped out, but that one that I've got to go back and change. So it got put in timeout this week. For, and I also changed my little bird up to look like a little metal art kind of. Um, so I picked part of it out last night and left some so I could do my true confession with y'all that this is what happened with Welcome, Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel happened and y'all know Welcome Summer should have told me that I was getting distracted by Vin Diesel and not paying no attention. And so all the green leaves I had stitched on the E and the M, which there's a pretty decent amount of them on there. I stitched in red. So it was, it's in my beautiful windy bag here. And I hope my links worked for y'all last week. I love, love, love my windy bag. I, it feels so good that quilting on there. Um, but it got put in the timeout. So it's coming out last night. I started pulling them out and I will work on him uh, today. Mimi should be here later. And I don't, I've got a couple of things pulled. I just did kind of a floss toss with it here. And I'm not sure. I've got a couple in here that I'm gonna use one or the other, but I'm not sure of. So 
there's some greens that got lost in the center there and my blue and the blue on this one is wavy navy and i love 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 that wavy navy that is so 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 beautiful and it's got just enough dark in it and just enough medium to show some movement in it when i buy an overdye if it doesn't have enough change in it it makes me want to holler but who also got a little bit of love this week was uncle sam and uh flag you know was the one that i finished last week but then we said his eyebrows mine's eyebrows just really did look lost in there his mustache is back stitched and his beard but nothing else and so oh no. so what i did was i went in and did i back stitched his eyebrows his eyebrows his eyeballs and the sides of his hair and now i'm much happier with him i like him so much better now so I just backstitch around his eyebrows, his eyeballs, and then down the side of his hair there. And this piece is so dang cute. I am in love with it. And it's, yeah, I don't have a lot of extra, but I'll just sew on there and it'll be fine. I don't use a lot. I don't like a lot of extra around mine. And you can see it's a scrap. This end's even all crookedy. But um, I do save scraps that big because I do stitch on them. Uh, I, my people been poor from way back, y'all, okay? everybody's stitching their Mayflower pieces. And I did have some early settlers here that came with some of those Puritan people. But when I did my ancestry, several of my people also came on the prison ships from, I or from England and Ireland, mainly the women. You gotta be a badass if you're gonna survive that as a woman. So go girls. So yeah, so I don't know, maybe I'll make a memorial prison ship piece for my gals. But my daddy's family did send something, and my mamas do have some that have been here for a long, long time. And then we've been in Texas since before Texas to Texas, I guess. But that is the share this week, is this one flag. And the word was uncle. And the recipient for flag is Nancy Barnes. So, Nancy, if you'll holler. Um, oh, there's the light on that. Something awful. And you get Uncle Sam's going to come live with you. This week, since I did not get Welcome Summer, uh, Patience saved us. She sent this beautiful um, mandala piece on my birthday with a bunch of things. She's, uh, she was so sweet since send things. And this one, I don't, after looking at the chart, I think it's gonna make me nervous to stitch that mandala, that repeat in all the ways. It's ink circles, it's red velvet, it's beautiful. If you had it in, um, you could even stitch it as like a little small pillow and put it in your patriotic display. It's just that splash of red. You could leave this thing out, but I leave red out nearly all year round because I love it. But this, it could be working with your Christmas. It could work in with Valentine's, with your patriotic. I mean, this is just a beautiful, beautiful design, but I don't know if I can not get turned around. This is one of those that you'd probably definitely need the little stripe or the highlighter, highlighter tape or something but it's so, so pretty. And so it is ink circles, red velvet, courtesy of patience. And it is our share this week. So um, if you want this to stitch this week, um, this will be our share. I just use red velvet. Make sure you use red velvet in there. Um, I love red velvet cake. I love red velvet cupcakes. Uh, Tyke, my friend Tyke makes the best red velvet on the planet. She makes red velvet cupcakes and I would just, I step right on your face to get over there and get one. They're so good. So that will be the share this week. And I'm going to put a little mark on here. So I'll know the, so I don't have to go back and try to remember what I said. Red velvet is the, so just say, I like red velvet. I hate red velvet. I don't understand red velvet. My husband doesn't understand red velvet. He says, why don't they just say chocolate? I'm like, oh, dude, just stop. Uh, but that's a whole other, that's a whole other rabbit hole we're about to go down. So that will be our share this week. Um, I hope that y'all have a great week. I hope you uh, don't do any Vin Diesel stitching like I did last week and don't have to frog anything because that is stinky. Oh, but hey, Amy, there was a little frog in our skimmer basket yesterday morning and Kenny James, I don't think I posted the pictures. She was so excited. She carried it out and let it go out in the yard. He was so cute. So 
uh, that made us uh, think of Amy and Sarah, both of my friends, Amy and Sarah, that love frogs and toads. So y'all have a great week. Enjoy your stitching, and I will see y'all next week. Thanks. Bye.